Police were visible but remained in the background as dozens of protesters showed up tonight at three different locations, including for a protest downtown at the site where two other planned events were called off. That's where 3 News Now reporter Sydney Gray joins us live with the latest. Sydney. John, good evening. So I'm not in the shot right now because I want you all to take a good look at what is happening right now. Police officers and protesters from earlier this evening have um, escorted those protesters rather over to the area near the hive where they've taken that wreath that is in honor of James Skurlock. Now, if you can see the woman in the pinkish shirt, she was in tears as she walked down the street. Um, there is a large group of protesters. Um, it's not just the two people you see hugging right now. There's a huge group of people, but obviously police have this area blocked off the area where the hive bar used to be. You can see the other two, um, uh, the other two air, uh, bar areas are all boarded up there. But the two people that you see walking right now, they were one of the, some of the organizers of the protest today that took place downtown in front of the city county building in front of the courthouse area. They made a wreath and that wreath said Juju. Lots of people um, have said that James Skurlock went by that nickname Juju and the wreath was in flowers. It was red, so lots of reds and pinks and ro uh, roses and it was really just beautiful. And so you can see them walking back right now. And as I mentioned, it was a very large crowd, but police only allowing those two people to make their way um, to make their way to lay that wreath down. I'm just going to let you guys see what's happening right now. And I just want you guys to just take a look and see such a powerful, powerful moment right now. Um, these two protesters, we actually talked to the young man over there earlier about why they were here and about why they wanted to, to honor James Skurlock in this way. So I just wanted to give you all a moment just to visualize and to see what's happening here. Again, a large group of protesters and it's been peaceful. It's been peaceful the entire time. A lot of the protesters arrived here um, around 3 p.m. and their crowd has grown. It's grown tremendously throughout the entire evening. And so um, it's just been a peaceful night. Everyone has signs. Uh, the, the, the environment, when I was just watching the protests, many of them were really just in good spirits. People were listening to music, chanting, and I have to keep saying this, peaceful. There were no issues. There were no problems in this particular area. But right now, I, wanna, I want you guys to get um, a listen to what the young man had to say earlier when we spoke to him. I feel like it's important because that's what happened. And so that's where his name needs to ring the most because that's where the event was that he became the hero. So that's very important for us and his family to know like we still care and we thank him for being out there to save all those people. Now, there were also protesters in other areas. Protesters were um, in the area of 72nd and Dodge, as well as Memorial Park. Just many different demonstrations going on today. And we also talked to a young woman today who was at 72nd and Dodge about why she wants to be an ally and about why she wanted to have her voice heard today. I'm here to support my really dear friends and family out here. You know, I know a lot of people that have been really affected by the events that are going on right now, especially with uh, police brutality. There's absolutely no way that I would know what that's like, so I really want to be there for them and to know that I am here for them forever. And John, I just want to reiterate at both places we visited today, 72nd and Dodge, um, our photojournalist to Piwa, he went to Memorial Park and then again here downtown, peaceful protests, despite, you know, that curfew ending, the mayor did end the curfew today, and there were no issues at any of the places that we went to. People were just in good spirits. They were positive. They were uplifted, and I don't know if you guys can hear them, but they're still down there. Obviously, this area is blocked off. Police did only let the two protesters down here who really organized the event. They let those two people down in this area in front of the hive so that they could lay that reef down with the name Juju on it in honor of James Skurlock, but it just goes to show that today was just a really um, a day for people to just really have their voices heard and also to really kind of feel those emotions that many people have been feeling all week long. We'll have more for you um, throughout the de throughout the night and updates on our website 3newsnow.com. Reporting live downtown, Sydney Gray, 3 News Now.